Hi, my name is Ben Stucker. Welcome to 2019. We just finished our first council meeting of the year. Um, it was a pretty quick meeting, lasted about 45 minutes. We heard from a lot of concerned citizens. What we continue to hear about is homelessness, um, lack of affordable housing in the community. We passed an agenda item tonight um, unanimously. Everything was unanimous. Uh, but the one agenda item that has a little bit of interest is, is in projects of citywide significance. About three years ago, we set aside $2 million for large projects over $5 million can get a little bit of money and incentive in order to build those projects in the city of Spokane. And that means they can spend some of those dollars on, um, on public improvements. So that means roadway improvements, improvements on the aesthetics of their project, other projects that are gonna benefit our pedestrian walkable environment. Most of those projects that have been approved over the last three years have been in the downtown area. And tonight we added a, a multifamily housing gets bonus points for that. So we're pretty excited about that. Next week, we, uh, we're hearing some uh, changes to our infill regulations. So what we've got is low vacancy rates on both the housing side, less than 2% vacancy rate, and that's been going on for three years. On the apartment side, we have vacancy rates of about 2.4%. Both those rates of vacancy should be about 5% to even out the market. If you have a lack of supply, then prices rise, people are priced out of their homes, people don't have anywhere to live, and so what we really have in Spokane, we don't have enough supply to keep up with the market. Infill regulations are on the regulatory side of things. So how do we affect the supply? How do we build on those vacant lots in town? And we have hundreds and thousands of vacant lots in our community, but sometimes with the, whether it's basalt rock or other items, you can't build on those. So if you change the regulations, you can actually build more inside of your community where you want density. The two biggest changes are gonna be in multifamily zones and the first one is, is taking right now in the multifamily zones, you can have 35 foot height limit for those apartment buildings, those multifamily units. And that raises in the core of multifamily zones up to 50 feet. So it'll allow people to build buildings a little bit taller. So hopefully that'll start filling in some of those vacant lots. We also continue to talk about parking in our community. Back in the 1950s, cities started saying that if you built a house or you built multifamily units, you had to have parking units. But that adds about 20% to the cost of projects. And one of the changes we'll be considering next week is to decrease the number of parking spaces that you have to have. And so that'll decrease costs, hopefully build more housing in our community. Housing is important for everybody. It's one of the basic needs on Maslow's hierarchy. If you don't have housing, you're worried, not worried about anything else. You need to take care of housing in our community. And we're continually moving step by step in that direction. I hope you had a great 2018 and holiday season. Thanks for joining us.